What's up, guys? Pittsburgh Y Shorts here. Happy 420 to everyone. Uh, I'm Ali, uh, your guest on the show with the um, people that actually run the show, Carmen and Andy. Bop. Hello, everybody. And our very special guest, the Nico from Burn One. What do you mean? You're also a guest with me, and you're more special than I am, Ollie. Please. <laughs> uh, maybe in one way. <laughs> but yeah, we're reviewing uh, Green Overlord set two. Hell yeah, brother! Yeah, Wait, doesn't yeah, isn't brother. this isn't this the list that has the card? Uh yes, the card yes. is in here. Oh wait, yeah, this this color bone does daddy. have the card. It bone daddy is here. Bone daddy. <laughs> oh fuck! I get to read bone. All right, Andy, your favorite profile. All right, four twenty. <laughs> talk about some green, baby. Talk about that green. <laughs> the green fight Can't escape from <laughs> <escape her>, crossing <laughs> fate. Um. Yeah, we got Albedo. Beginning your encore step, you have a climax. You can draw a card and discard a card. That's just for free. And turn filter. That'd be good in a deck with bars. Mm. Yeah, that's not too bad. And then uh, brainstorm uh, salvage. I, I like that secondary effect on a brainstorm. That's good all game long. Uh, only bars. if you have a climax now, but whatever. That's still pretty good. That is I like a it. very solid brainstorm. Like that's a pretty good brainstorm. auxiliary effect, I think. If only there wasn't just one totally broken deck in this set. There's a lot of actually like playable decks, it feels like. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Thanks, Karn. We got this. Um, oh my god, I mix them up constantly. Mare? Ara? There's this Ara. The, 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 the girl, the one that looks like a girl is actually the guy. That's I know that. I know that. I, I, I don't know. Aura, this... Aura's, Aura's the guy. Aura's Mare. the guy. So this is Mare. Okay. This is Mare. Yeah. Okay, Mare. Uh, when this is played with station in hand, gets 1500 power. Uh, and then on death, ditch any card, look at top four, add a level one or higher to your hand. Uh, so it is a Fuka Zero. Level one or higher, cheery. Pick your, pick your jargon. A what? Fubuki, this is zero. just Fubuki, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, Fubuki. no, isn't this better Fubuki? Because isn't no. Fubuki only one K? Fubuki gives fifteen hundred power anywhere on play and is one K. This is like Kirito. This swings at three K. Yeah. This is like Kirito, but for level one or higher, pretty good. It's yeah, good it's pretty card. good. Utility cards that can kill things are always good. Or it can help out your other cards kill stuff, yeah. It's yeah. pretty... Yeah. Alright, moving on. So this one's Aura. There we go. Go ahead. Okay. I'm sure you're wrong. Am I wrong? I'm checking it out. Yeah, Mari's the Which girl. Which one's the tap counter? The one that no, has Mar the... Mari's the boy, Aura's the... Oh, shit, you're right. Got him. Whatever this character's name is, uh, when this card is placed on stage from hand, perform one of the following of two effects of your choice. Uh, send the top card of your clock to waiting room. Uh, your opponent chooses one climax in their waiting room. Oh, so it's a Fumio. So you get to heal the Fumio. Okay, it's not too bad. And then climax combos with this bar. Um, when this card attacks, you can pay one uh, digit card from your hand. You have the bar in your climax zone. You can pay uh, deal two damage to your opponent, and it gets an extra one k. I don't care so about the climax Fum combo. This card's fine. Yeah, I was like, this. I mean, it's Fumio. Card's Card's pretty good, oh, actually. Yeah, actually, heal or like, Fumio. With, with its utility, yeah, yeah, I like it. Extra healer in your deck or a Fumio? Sign me up, brother. You're not rating it at all based on the climax. Combo. I don't give a fuck what the other line of text. I is. think the climax com the climax, the, combo, the is climax pretty, combo is pretty. Pay mid. one, ditch one. Yeah, pay one, ditch one. Like deal two is whatever. Okay, yeah, so this it's card. Three 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 this three card three. doesn't even play for one stock and can trip into its own climax and it only burns two. Come on. Not up to mm -hmm. snuff. Okay, so if it did both, what would you rate it as? If it healed and was a Fumio? If it did both? That's yeah. turbo crack. If it just, just didn't have the combo and was just... And did both? Like, that'd be turbo crap. That'd be like an A+. plus. Have we not had a healing Fumio? Oh. Fumio's a... I don't think there's ever been a Fumio, Fumio that's ever... Heal, the, the reason why, heal, heal and Fumio are level 3 only yeah, effects. Like, the free Fumio. Like Resta. This is usually Resta character, but they just removed that now. For one climax Fumio. I forgot. I foregore. I mean, the combo's fine. It gives the burn two extra reach. But, like, I, I don't think you'd play it over. You have, like, better combos you can potentially be playing as, like, a kill turn. Or, like, a. I think you have. I think you have better combinations of off finishers. 
than this climax combo in over. Aren't we about to see like a better bar combo like on the next? Yeah, card? literally. All right, Ollie, you get to read him. All right, yo, bone boy, daddy, the boy, the lad, the daddy. Uh, three, two irons. Uh, if you have the bar in your climax area, if this is the front row, and you have another character, uh, you can heal one and then perform one of the following three effects. Choose up to five of this one one event in your waiting room. Place them underneath this card as a marker in any order. Send all markers underneath this card to memory. Choose X of your opponent's characters. Send them to the waiting room. X is the number of, of uh, cards sent to memory by this effect. Or burn one and, and um, gain 2k power. There's another card that gives this card three more lines of text, by the way. I think on its own, it's pretty good. What? Yeah. You didn't know that, Nico? I'm bro, yeah. I told you before you got me onto this podcast, I didn't read any Overlord cards. Okay. So I thought you knew about the we, Overlord, we, like um, the main thing. Do we want to just go read him? Let's just do it. It's, yeah, it's go, slide 30. Uh, I'll just read. Uh, your, your events get minus one cost. And this is on board. So they become one zeros instead of one ones. Uh, the event just salvages uh, and gives a character power, by the way. Um, and then it has an effect when it's a memory where you can. Pay one, ditch one uh, at Encore phase. As long as you have the Ions on the board, burn one. Uh, that's, the once, three, two ions. that's once it is in memory. The three, two Ions must be on the board. That is the event. And this makes the event minus one cost. So when you have them at level one, they're just salvages. They're hand fixes. Because you need to get them into grave anyway. It lets you play them for free. Pretty good. Uh, it's a level assist. Generalized level assist. And then also has climax combo with the same bar that we just saw. When it is placed... Choose one of your Ains, and this turn, it gets 4,500 power. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, the card gets the following two effects. During your opponent's turn, this card cannot be chosen by your opponent's effect, so it's hexproof on your opponent's turn. And during your opponent's turn, this card and its battle opponent cannot become reversed. So that means Ains can't be a dot sheet or anything like that. Any of a non-targeting removal. This card can't come out at two, by the way. Yeah, it can be early played. So let's go back to Bone Daddy himself. So keeping in mind those two lines of stapled text where he is hexproof on his opponent's turn um, and him and the card across from him can be reversed. And the card in memory be early that gives though. it uh, a That's level not... zero on board that pay one sacks itself changes into this from hand. Hmm. It's also like the Bell JC as well. Yeah, so it's a plusing zero. So it pluses two. <laughs> Very interesting. And adds uh, itself back to hand for later. Summon the Ein out. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, oh so wait! So you're telling me this card is a terrorist card for uh, the future English meta? This card kills the terrorists. Yeah, he kills. <laughs> he kills point? everything. Isn't this the Japanese terrorist card, though? Isn't this it's the anti-terrorist. It, it kills everything. It's, there's no... We don't negotiate with any of these cards. Um, <laughs> so, basically, this is what the play pattern looks like. Your opponent plays down the Ricky, so it, it, it's, it's independent of deck state when Irons can come out. They already have the 1-1 one, one on the board because it makes all their events costless. They need to put their events in grave. They burn all events that are in their hand. Um... To, to, you know, to grab yeah, the pieces they need. To grab the pieces they need. Then the first turn that is played, they slam the bar, they heal, they marker all five, uh, put them underneath him. And then he is X proof, plus 4,500 power, um, and the thing across from him and himself cannot become reversed. So you can't hit over him, you can't dodge him, you can't bomb him, you can't blink him, you can't bounce him. Um, once he's on the board, as long as they've played the climax combo, because the card inherits the effect. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't touch him. The only thing you can do to him is when he attacks, before it has gotten to your turn, you can anti-change counter him. However, if your opponent who is playing Ainz has a brain, they will side um, because they generate so much value from this card staying on the board, they don't even care if they side for zero. So that's the first turn they play the bar. Second turn they play the bar, they pop all the markers underneath this to memory, blow up your entire fucking board, and probably play a second Ainz and burn you for one and heal two. Um, and then every turn, the Ainz are on the board 
and the events are in memory, at Encore phase, they can pay one, ditch one, burn one for every event that it is in their memory every turn. So up to five pings every turn after the second combo turn, and they kill your board, and they heal every time they summon the bar, and they can't, you can't touch the card. You're, you're literally, your only out is put, shoving damage at them or hoping they don't trigger a bar. Yeah, you, you literally just have to throw as much shit as you can at them as fast as possible and pray that they have a garbage game. Because once, or, once, once they start rolling, you can't stop it. Or you play the secret uh, counter pick, which is Monogatari. Or um, the new Hollow Live Hachima oh, yeah, Dark yeah, yeah, Hole yeah. Ollie deck, yeah. where you Hachima their board and then summon two Ollies out. True. That's why they're not gonna. That's why they're not gonna hit Overlord. Yeah, Overlord will dodge ban list because of Holloway. Good design. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind also, um, this card l always has the option to do up to five burn ones. Yes. Once you put all the, the events in memory. Every Encore phase. Memory or do they stay there? No. They stay there. Never leave memory. And because the deck has no other memory thing going on, even if you do any of the memory dumps, you just get rid of one event. And they can burn you four times. But none of the anti-memory cards do anything. Yeah. So it's not even like losing damage from siding actually hurts you that much because you can just make up the damage through burn ones. And you have the Vampire Bride engine to give yourself infinite cards to ditch. So it's at least three burn ones every turn. You attack three times. If you what what triggers the burn? Does the event itself The event burn in or memory. Or the, give you the event so if you have two eins, can you do ten burns? No. The event no. itself. It's the event itself checks if there's an Eins on board at Encore phase. And for every event that you have, you get a trigger to pay one, ditch one, burn one for Encore phase. You, you, get, you get a maximum of eight burn ones. One burn one for each Eins, and then one burn one for each memory, event in memory. As in the third piece of the Climax combo, yeah, Andy, yeah. not if the you, event. If you, get to the, if you get to the point where you could just start doing the third effect. It sounds like the turn you go for this, you're kind of like, Minusing it. A good the first turn, place. the first turn, you don't do a lot. You just kind of heal and throw out a body your opponent can't answer. And then, then every turn after that is a living nightmare. Yeah, that's the thing. You're minusing, but you're also putting a body that literally cannot get. Body can't die. Cannot die. There are ways for you to deal with this as the opponent. Um, what the... happens if they get rid of your um, assist in the back? Like, <laughs> Too angry consider... to die. Um, they have, like win, do, win your uh, back row and then run the Eins. It over still has that. They can't. The Eins inherits the abilities, Andy, on climax placement. It doesn't matter if the one one is still on the board. The Eins itself yeah. gains the power and the effects. That's oh, why I said it doesn't Eins, matter. The Eins gets the ability. That's why I said it gets. It has three more lines of text because the, those lines of text are effect, effectively stapled to this card, so you cannot interact with them in any way. Because I you can't interact like with Meliodas the Eins. from like Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah, you can't. You can't do that because yeah. he gains all the effects when you play the climax. So it doesn't matter. Pretty good, hey, Nico. Nico, Yo, how, would you, good. how would you grade the card, Nico? How would I grade the card? This is, this is your first time seeing it. Um. So here's the problem, right? We've already seen like a lot of the other package around this card. Um. <laughs> Because I already know a lot of the package around this card now, just because we've talked about it. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, this card is a terrorist card, and terrorist cards usually get a pretty high score. So I would probably say something along the lines of, what do we go to? Like S? S. I think this is an S tier. Yeah, card. this is an S tier card. I think it's an S minus card. I'm going to throw in the minus just because. I, th I, th I think there's so little counterplay to it. Uh, it, it's, it's like... There's yeah, so but, little uh, you can do. Consider the following, right? What if you're a really bad player at Weiss Schwartz like myself, and you don't actually just happen to get the second climax combo? What if you're just that bad? Well, it's well, a it's bar. A you problem and not <laughs> well, Nico, Nico, what if I told you that it's on a bar, and there's, like, mm -hmm. a package that you put in your deck that lets you draw as many cards as you want, provided you could punch yourself in the face enough? What if I okay. told you, Nico, you can run card destruction? 
Yo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Yo. Man, that, that event sounded pretty good now. And then you <laughs> heal, then you heal with the Ainz Road's infinite synergy. It's infinite deck speed. Here you, here you go, Andy. You know what? S for synergy, dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There's, there's literally no way to interact with this is, thing is if your opponent sides. Counter play that you just ignore it and do your own thing because your stuff can't get reversed either. Yeah. The counter play is you. Yeah, I guess you slow rush. You yeah, quote unquote you, slow rush. You have to, <laughs> you have to throw as much as you can at them early and just like tr the the other big thing is making their early game bad so they can't am they struggle to amass resources to like pl take the game slow enough to like do two turns of combo. And stay at two because if they do the second thing and they're like level three, like three one three two, it's definitely not as bad for you. You also you also can't like slow row them and like deny them from hitting two because they literally have they like, have a Kana Tamarine esque yeah vampire brides they just clock themselves it's up better than Kana Tamarine because it just gives you raw it cards. gives you cards to ditch for the event yeah or draws you into events if you they're still in deck to put in grave. In main phase, by the way. Yeah, it's main phase. The um, the the secret for like dealing with this, this isn't like a uh, this isn't like an actual counterplay strategy. This is just a like a way to try to ignore it. Remember that if you shove up your back row that was gonna die anyway, you go pseudo plus two. So just remember that like you're, the card you put in front mean? of Eins can't die, right? Okay, so if you have, like, a utility card and a Brainstorm in the back row, and your opponent has the markers under Ainz from the first combo turn, don't play any other cards. Shove up your fucking back row and just crash those puppies in. Your opponent's going to blow up their board anyway, because they need to send those markers to memory. Um, So they're not just going to not do it. Oh, and wait. Don't play into their yeah. <laughs> you, your stuff can't die either. Yeah, just, just remember you got a plus two in your back row that you can shove up to kind of mitigate the damage but like they're gonna do it because they got they want to put those events in memory to burn you so it doesn't matter if you have garbage on your board or high value stuff they're gonna do it so just shove up your board and like try to deal with it that way but it, it's not a great strategy but it, it's something you can do that i see a lot of players not do so uh just something to keep in mind Because the the Eins player, if the Eins player is greedy enough to hold on to their fucking markers and not combo, then like they're dumb as fuck or like having the best game of their life. <laughs> they're just they're just vibing. Yeah. I don't know. I I don't know. Giving it an S just feels just so weird for me. Like it because it doesn't. It's not. What's the word? It's not. Um, so but I think is, is, is I, I understand impressive? what you're saying. By is itself, it it's not too bad. I think it's oppressive, Andy. It's the really problem impressive. Is like the, the, the package is oppressive. The card itself might be okay, but the package, like, in total is what's oppressive. But I guess just, like, comparing it to something like Escanor, right? Escanor is something where, like, if it feels more oppressive. But the thing is, Escanor happens like, when... they go for it, you lose. You're, like, guaranteed dead. Yeah, but like, Escanor happens at level 3. This card happens at level 2. This card So, like, this, this card is, like, a mid-game. until your second turn at level 2. And this card also has the ability to like hit Escanor's ceiling too, and beyond. Yeah, you can put out a lot of pings. Don't get me wrong; I'm not doubting it. I'm just trying to like. I I I like if you're from your earlier question. I think if you're asking me, the lowest this card can go is probably a plus. This is uh, yeah, especially once like, you know all like the package. Plus, but... Yeah, once you know all the package, I think this card is uh, uh, pretty bonkers. I think I think the, the the fact that there's no like virtually no counterplay is what puts it over for me. There's nothing your opponent can do except throw damage at you and and try to just yeah. keep as many cards as they it, can it's, in it's their hand. It's actually it's it's funny enough. It is similar to Escar in the fact that it's a deck that only ever really loses to itself. Yeah, it only ever loses to like them eating damage because they don't get a chance to compress that's the most well, you can do is you keep the pressure on you you can interact with their early game which you know weirdly alice does the best and we'll talk about that when we get to the um we get to the level zero there's uh there's like a lot of nasty things that uh alice does to their zero and one that like make it hard for them to consistently set up the best board but i mean that's all you can do you try to set behind their early game enough Hear me out. Memory snow. No. 
I heard Rich you. Doesn't even I heard that. you. I processed what you said. I disagreed with it. I voiced my disapproval, and we're going to move on. The, the anti-burn <laughs> literally doesn't even work. <laughs> what? Yeah, it does. No, it's, no it's only, only, uh, it, it only happens to characters, Andy. Yeah, the burn ones are from an event. You can only stop the iron's yeah. burn one. Yeah, no, like, no, isn't no, the burn one? No. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, the burn ones are only from auto effects, right? Yep. Oh, character yep. auto effects. Character, oh, character auto. auto. Yeah, it's even funnier. Why can't Memory Snow be good yet? It, it, it will it never, never be, good. be good, buddy. Just fucking burn it. Don't burn it. Don't burn it. You'll get banned. <laughs> um, no, don't burn cards. Never burn it. Yeah, I'll burn it on channel. <laughs> never. Never. They hate us enough already. Uh, all right, next card. Uh, all right. This is back uh, to Andy. Yeah. yeah, so this one's yeah. Aura. Yep. All your other heteromorphs in Nazareth get 500 power. Wait a sec. Didn't we... When, when you, oh, okay. It's it's a, another global 500 climax filter-ish effect. When you, your trigger check reveals a climax, you can discard the climax. If you did look at two cards, add one to it. It's a bar so, slash wait, the bar Yeah, filter. it's wait. like a... Bar slash pants assist. What works with any climax? Yo, dude, can you yeah. imagine this so card? Pants. This card can make you lose three additional climaxes. It's so oh. sick. Three. <laughs> it happens. It happened every time I did it in Symphagear. It'll happen every time I did it. This one. Hell yeah, brother. My favorite. It's like, damn, trigger bar, ditch bar, blind st uh Trigger bar, blind stack bar, ditch the bar, look at two bars, take the same bar. Yeah. <laughs> Pass back to my opponent, eat eight, <laughs> GG. Yeah, from what yeah. we've seen in like the last couple slides, I feel like you'd rather just keep the bar. Yep, you'd rather just keep the bar. It, it, this it is fine, though. Off any climax, oh, that's right, it does yeah. only ditch. It, does only, it ditch. only ditches climax, but it does work off anything. These have been fine. Yeah. I was like, the, just the, because you can kind of like technically splash this in anything. Yep. It's fine. All right. Level zero, Demirge. On play, you may mill three, and it is a climax swap. Sasha, climax swap, good card. We like it. Yo. Dex. Literally exactly the same card. This is a totally good climax swapper profile. Big like. Demirge is yeah, not, like it. he's not chomping on a lobster like Sasha, but fine. He's laughing. Mm hmm. Very small. All right, next. Eco. All right, we got this Albedo. Uh, the Albedo is when this card is placed on stage from hand, all players perform the following effect. You have five more cards in memory. Choose four cards in your memory and then send all other cards in your memory to waiting room. And then when your other uh, traded character attacks during this turn, this card gets 2k power, so it can be 8k swinging last, and it's a memory dump. Uh, I think the big problem right now is memory dump is pretty much irrelevant, so this is kind of whatever. Yeah, it's because this, I don't think memory dumps are relevant. I think this sort of memory dump effect is irrelevant. And it always will be. I don't think Look at this deck. This deck right here runs a billion events anymore. and puts them all in memory. And it doesn't it's only ever it been runs, printed once. It runs so five. Like, it runs five events, and Two so one here's, here's box like the, here's like event the from the capo. And again, you don't even give a shit because you get to keep four of them. Well, yeah, exactly. And, like, the problem is, like, English has never had a big problem with, like, super compressing in memory outside of, like, maybe a slime player who's, like, ultra-nutting on you. Wait, wait, so... guys. Wait, wait, wait. This is both What's players. Up? You can put your one of your one zeros back in the waiting room so you can reuse it. So you can blow up another character on the board! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Character. Oh, I'm, I'm, just, insane, I'm getting dude. real tired. I'm getting real fucking tired of seeing like this sort of memory dump effect because it's absolutely useless. It's like an insult. They need to actually just print a hard memory dump. Like actually just. Well, well listen, players, Andy. If they printed a hard memory, memory dump, then the memory player would be sad because then their deck doesn't work. Yeah, anymore. think of think of the poor Psychono players. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. there's a there's a there's a reason. What's it called? Uh, information binding will never come up. JP Banlist. They hate that kind of stuff. This is fine though. It's like a playable card. I I I think I don't think this is a playable card right now, and I don't think this will be. I a mean, it's it's in it's, it's a... unless I uh, listen, dude. Unless Avatar or Guilty Gear Strive shakes up the English meta to like the extreme with memory, this shit ain't doing anything. What do you it's mean? We're getting Psychono. We're getting Psychono, brother. Yeah, what's Psychono gonna do against Quince? What's Psychono gonna do against fucking Sal, dude? Well, no. Once they ban Sal, you can play Psychono. That's why I'm buying it. They're not okay, banning well, Sal, in, dude. In, in fairness, Icono has level two killers and in, in JCs. It can like probably play against Sal a little better than most. Wait, what does the JC <laughs> do? 
it bounces back your level two killer, so you can reuse it. Uh, but wait, well, how, yeah, did, how does the how thing. does the JC live against the other Alice after you put the uh, level two killer in? Put in the back row. <laughs> okay. Your back row's taken up by your brainstorms and your fucking two one like fucking memory package, dude. Look, dude, I'm not saying it's a good. I'm strategy. not saying it's a good <laughs> strategy. I'm just saying you could do it. It has it has potential. It has potential. All right, next. Mm. I guess we kind of already talked about this. Um, this is just. You, you only play this with a fucking eye. I'm just, just yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just slapping this. Just, uh, dude, I'm putting the same three fucking three. score on it. You literally would not play this without the three two irons. All right, and then um, all you can just have this card. Okay, uh, I got this two one. I already forgot. Mare. Which, Whatever the fuck Mare. her name is, yeah. Uh, once play stream stays, gets three K power, so it's a nine five on play, and then. Pay one to send one card from your hand in your waiting room. When the bar is placed in your climax, so this card is near front row. You can pay cost if you do. Shoot up to one of the three two R in your hand and put it on a slot on the stage. And then it's a anti change clock bomb. But you play the uh, R for no. one stock. No, it's, this it's is a, not it's an anti change. It's a blind ball. stalker. If there's yeah. a climax in your climax zone. So it's a ten five without any like prior supports. Um... It lets, it lets you, you early play the early combo. Play. Yeah. And you can early play the Fumio too, which is nice. Because you can just early play it for the Fumio. Or heal. Yeah, but that's like a terrible early play condition. Pay one sack it, play it from hand. Well no, it's just pay one ditch one. Like, pay one ditch one's not too bad. Pay one ditch one and then play the card from hand. Yeah, yeah so but that's it's... if you're committed to running the combo. So like you're only ever playing this if you're running the combo, right? Like, this is, like, a weird situation because, like, you can probably slot the Fumio into a lot of lists, but you're not slotting this card into many lists. Yeah. I don't really like it. Though. It's fine. I mean, yeah, it's kind of, it, it, like, it's not, it's not egregious, but it's like, you just, you just have better things you can be doing, spot. right? Uh, yeah, Why would I, I do I anything other than play Einzit, too? Yeah, exactly. I was like, this is like the alternative level two game, and then like, yeah, as Carmen said, why would you play this when you can play Eins? All righty, Andy, go ahead. Yep, got another Eins. This one also works with the level three for levels two or higher. Uh, this is the one that um, pay one, send a card from your hand, send this to waiting room. This is this is what cheats them in. Yeah. Really. Then uh, beginning your opponent's attacks up, uh, pay one, send top card of your deck to clock, return this to hand. Return it and the character uh, that's yeah. being front attack to hand. So you get to have getting, this card in hand back. Back step, you do it. Yeah, it's okay, like Bell. Like, it's yeah. like Bell. Yeah. Yep. Um. Yeah. This is uh. This is one of the reasons why Alice is really rude to Eins. Um. Despite being good against their level one game that wants an open lane, uh, or a reverse, despite their shelters being very big. Uh, this card being less than a thousand power, even if fielded in multiples to try to get the bounce back, your opponent typically plays two to three one zero Alice, which on shuffle back neg one K to something in front row. Um, so if your opponent wants to recur this card to hand and get a plus, this card has to be in the back row, um, which means it can't mm. attack. Um, It'd be awkward in Overlord Mirrors too, where your opponent has, if they're using the uh, set one brainstorm. Yeah, just kill it. Like, do they traditionally play this at one brainstorm? No, they play the five card brainstorm. I I think I'd consider playing the set one brainstorm specifically for like killing this. I don't card. know if you want to text specifically for the mirror though. That's like the the weird thing. Alice being able to kill this card and this card just not popping back to hand to sit there to be ready for their level two uh, is like a really big feather for Alice or any. Any deck that has like a mi random minus power effect that they can easily play uh, to make it so that this card doesn't work despite being 500 power is like really good because this card just chills in their hand to turn into Eins later. Because uh, unlike Bell, you give them back a Bell, like who the fuck cares? Like, yeah, they lose out on their plus, but like whatever. It's not the biggest thing in the world. Like, this might like actually have a chance at act crippling your opponent despite, you know. Being just a level zero that they could pick up at any time, it's still another thing they have to dedicate a sculpt to to get things going. So every little thing you can do, pretty good. But 
what can you do? Do what you can. But this card itself is uh, obviously pretty fucking good. Yeah, it's part of the package, so it's still going to be good. Alrighty, moving on. Uh, level 0 Aura. Play from stage to hand. Choose one of your opponent's characters. Send it to memory. Bring it back. Blink. And then on play, choose one of your other characters. Give it 2k. Whatever. Uh, it's a nice auxiliary effect for like a blinker, but like blink isn't like super value in the meta right now. Can't target any. Yep. A cheat. You go. All right, so we got this Albedo. During this turn, or during your turn, it gets uh, 1k power. And then climax combo with this bar. Uh, this effect cannot be... Whoa, okay. This effect cannot be activated on the first turn of the player going first. When this card attacks, if you have the bar in your climax zone, if you have another character, and if you have six or less hands, choose up to one level zero lower uh, traded character in your waiting room. Place it in any stage, in any slot, and during this turn, you cannot attack four or more times. What? What? What a strange See, restriction. This is, this is, yeah, this is a really weird thing. I guess it the gives last you, a, it gives you an extra attack. Attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Have... I get it the last time because it stops like infinite attacks in standard. Yeah, because they printed a card. It says when this card attacks, you spawn something. Yeah, you could so, just spawn another one of it and then so like, this spawn is like another the, one. Couldn't you just this... keep spawning these? Hold on. Yeah, but you, can only, you only get four attacks. Well, yeah, I, I guess if they didn't have that restriction, you could just. I think, yeah, this, you... I think these restrictions are literally just for standard. No, no you could do that in. You could do that in Neo Standard too. Like if they didn't have the restriction, you could just do this like any other time in the game, and just get four free attacks. And this card attacks, spawn something to your field. You can technically start doing do four swings it. from like your second turn onwards, right? Well, no, you can't swing four or more times. You can only swing three times. It just gives you a plus here. Oh, you cannot attack four or more yeah. times. You're correct. If, if, yeah, if you yeah. Could, this card sucks. Yeah, this card fucking sucks. Okay, sick. Gross. The the first yeah. line of text is literally something I read on I, Pokemon I initially cards. Thought to, yeah. yeah I initially like a, thought you could get four or more, but it's no. Or just at least four. Yeah, you can't even get a four. Yeah, that's terrible. If you're going, Why if, would you ever play this? It if it's like your first card. turn and you're going second, attach three energy from deck. Canyon. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like... It sounds like a card that they had, like... It shows that maybe they do playtest, right? Yeah. Like, it seems like something that they playtest, and they're like, oh, wait, we gotta put a Band-Aid on this. Be nice if English did that. I mean, we wouldn't get cards like Eskimo. Uh, who's, who's this? That's how it is on this bitch of an Earth, Carmen. Yeah, it's just how it is on this bitch of an Earth. It's <laughs> Ollie. Yep, it's Ollie. Uh, we got this 1-0 uh, Albedo. Uh, all your other 1-0 Albedo combos from set 1 gain 1k power. I believe that thing's like a Shimikaze or something. It it's is. A search. It's a Shimikaze off bar. Uh, uh, it's a assist 500, and then when this plays from stage to hand, you know, hey, cost if you do, uh, search your deck for to one of the 1-0 Albedo and add to your hand. So it, it's a... Um, it's a deck bonder, but I can ditch anything. Normally those are characters, aren't they? They have been, but they've been blocking it back. Yeah, but this is also a 1-0, so you gotta think about that. Yeah, the, uh, the Itsuki ditches anything to deck bond. The burger. Been so what do we how think? Does, been... this make, uh, does this make the level 1, set 1, Albedo better? Combo better? No. No, it's not like a fucking blind stock or something. That card's like almost unplayable. This card's fine, though. If you're like playing Albedo Waifu, you're happy to have this. So, fine. This makes you Shimikaze 8500, which is like cool. He angst. Back to Andy. Um, yep, another Eins. Uh, when you play it, choose a Heteromorph or Naz and give it 1500. And when you reverse your opponent with this, uh, you can send the top card or you can clock kick it. Um, As Carmen said earlier, like the cost bombs are kind of whatever, but I mean, like it's got an okay or auxiliary effect. Yeah, the, the power slime. pump, power pumping bombs are totally fine. Yeah, just, but there, I mean, there's like, no reason 
that play them right now. Yeah. One day there will be. There always is. There always there's always gonna be cards like Shizu that like randomly get fucked by bombs. And if there's enough cards like Shizu in your meta, then bombs become really Except right now there's only Shizu. Fortunate. Oh wait, wait, wait! It's when this cards battle opponent gets reversed. It's not a bomb. It's uh when you run them over, you do it. What the fuck? And he's weak. I think that's gotta be no. That's gotta be. A that's gotta be a mistranslation. Yeah, that's gotta be a mistranslation. Somebody check while I read the next card. Um, we got this made. You have four or more other heteromorphic Nazar characters. This gains six K, so it's ten K. On play, if you have two or more other, draw two, ditch two. On play, if you have a full board, um, you choose a character in your waiting room, send it to stock, so it plays for zero. Uh, I have regularly seen this card played alongside yeah. Eins as a way to freely dig two cards while having a decent body on board uh, to find your bar. Yeah, I see this is like a one or a two of, I think, usually. Yep. I think in played in that role, I think it is fine. I just checked it is a it is in fact a cost bomb. Okay, yeah, so miss miss TL. I would hope so. Um, I agree. It's yeah, a two one ten k that lets you. you guys. What? Uh, the big thing, that Andy, is it's a two one ten k that lets you draw two, ditch two, um, and it gets a stock for free if you're playing it on a full field. Let you dig for bar. Messiah has a card yeah. like this, but it's two souls. Yep. That it's card's sick. Soul. I don't like it. It's a. Uh... It's a decent body that doesn't actually hurt your resources, that digs you towards your game plan. Yeah. Nico. Alright, so we got this Eins. Uh, you can return two characters in your waiting room and then uh, to your deck and then shuffle your deck in. With, when this card is placed on stage from hand, uh, you can do that and it can side attack without soul penalty. Sick. Uh, when this card attacks, choose one of your characters and it gets 1500 power for the turn. Ooh, we good. like lizard, lizard guy instead. <laughs> um, is there any ever like weird ass like combo condition to where you need to spawn something from deck? You could mill to the bottom uh, of your deck and shuffle back characters so your Shaltier hits. That's no, that's not real. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Shufflebacks are like hella niche. It, it's not the worst yeah. card. I like siding for free, but... Siding for free is neat, but you're also shuffling two damage back into your deck, so yeah, this is a like... There's a lot of cards uh, that are um, in this set that are like on attack, give power. They, they really are... Yep. I really love that effect here. Uh, Ollie... I got this level zero. It's a 4K. You can't play events or backups. It's fine. You want to play 4K? It's fine. Yo, this is an R in Simpho Gear. Okay, well, are you serious? Yo, you're, trying sick. To put, you're trying to put five events in your memory. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? It's fine. I like... can't even put anything in my box. Get that out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking shut up, old man. Thank you. It's fucking <laughs> the pudding bar, dude. And get you some dessert. <laughs> Get some tapioca. Yeah, you get a you get the fucking glass for your dentures, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, next card. Uh, okay, got, Andy. Um, uh, fuck. Ara. Ara. You have another Mare. This one one. This gets four thousand power. When your character's trigger check is a climax during this turn, it gets two thousand power. What is this? Uh. Or, uh, I mean, Mari, what's the 1-1 one, one do? It's a level assist when your other one of the card we just looked at gets... You pay one it's rest. It's a pay yeah. one rest, yeah. It's a silica. An on stage, but only for this 1-0. Yeah. Boo. That's way too confusing. I just want to give it an F, but... Too specific. <laughs> yeah, it's a little... 1-0... Whose card is this? Fine. Oh, okay. One it's zero Mare. Right? Then one upside down shalt here from your hand of the waiting room. At the beginning of your climax phase, you can do that. You did. This card gets fifteen hundred power in the following two effects. Pay one twin drive. And when this card's battle opponent's reversed, you can choose a character in your waiting room and salvage it. 
what the fuck? <laughs> you can you can discard this, this is vanilla. This, is this some like weird ass flavor? It's Dude. like so you can run four of this vanilla to discard to get a free salvage without a client. It's not a free. If you reverse, yeah. It's a if you reverse, yeah. So you get a twin drive for free. That's, that's not the, like you're not even plusing. That's no. the face you make when you uh, when you put this in front of an Alice T one. Yeah, you're like, oh, I'm out of my element. <laughs> I think I I think I walked into the wrong room. <laughs> The wrong, like, this isn't locals. Yeah, this is... <laughs> yeah, I hate it. This is bad. Not good. Not good. Not the worst thing. Not, not bad. All right, who has karaoke? Mari, it's Nico. Okay, so this is a level assist. And as we were just talking about a couple cards earlier, you can pay one restless card, and when your other... um card of this fucking 1-0 becomes reversed uh, you may pay the cost if you did choose one character in your waiting room add to hand so it's an on stage silica specifically for that 1-0 which is like why I guess you can do it when it's slightly better than on stage because you can wait until they reverse you but then why would you so like why would you run this package this is funny like them it's for the likers out there <laughs> and I'm, it's not for me. I'm a hater. Um, <laughs> next card. Just in general. The hater in general. Yeah, we know. Uh, <laughs> we got Cococtus. Uh If you have another level 3 or higher characters, gets 4k power. Uh, and if you have two or more other characters, this gets 3k power. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa that's a he's, a, he's a beefy boy. <laughs> He's big, he's big, big boy. <laughs> big boy. He's a big boy. I mean, a it's a twelve k. It's a twelve k two one. That's not like the worst. Not, cross not, has not one game soul. Game. Yeah, Only yeah, one play. soul. Cards it's like this. Play play as well. Cards like this in the modern game have two soul <laughs> for no reason. That two soul would be broken, dude. No, it wouldn't. It'd be an eight k most of the time. <laughs> It'd be on power level. What do you mean at eight? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. It's a big buck. Big buck. Big boy. Big buck. Next. Uh, Andy. Andy. Yep. We got the yelling aura uh, during your turn in front row center. Seven K and plus two soul. Three. 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 13k three soul in your center lane on turn now that's broken big i actually i would other okay, ironically this is kind of cool actually one of this yeah. yeah this is this is totally fine i like it pushes damage what pushes damage Ninko. it does push damage. it's it's a two one three soul it's that will th die well, okay push Wait, yeah it pushes damage dude soul. damage wins games <laughs> It's pushing damage at level two is broken, dude. You, you guys could, are making me too hard. You for could me swing and I'm, for and four. I'm dank meme you on could myself, you dude. could swing at level three. You could swing for four or side for one. Think of the possibilities. Think what if of, they leave their center lane think open, of the, dude? Think of the potential. Then you just then you could swing for five. five or swing you for just, nothing. You just fucking stick five. You guys are no. You just oh, gotta fucking think I about it. Right, you gotta, you gotta expand your brain. You gotta, you gotta see the forest through the trees, dude. Yeah, dude, come on, dude. You're missing it. No, nah, I'll, I'll send later, guys. Sorry. All right. Uh, one, one grotesque uh, monster thing. This was the shitty black CG monster. Yeah, the like I remember. This was like at the end of the one season. I was like, you know what? I do not think I will watch the next season of Overlord. <laughs> um. If you do not have a character with Eins in their card name, you can't play this at all. Choose up to one of your heteromorphic or characters in your waiting room. Add it to hand. Choose one of your characters. During this turn, it gets 1,000 power. So it is a 1-1 one, one salvage. If you have the other 1-1 one, one down, of course, this becomes a costless. So it's a 1-0 salvage event that gives 1k. Pretty good. Um, you have up to five cards with the same name as this card in your deck. So again, you can hit the full board. Uh, one for each uh, one that you send. So five slots, five cards. Uh, and if this card is in your memory at the beginning of your encore step, as long as you have this specific three two lines on your board, you may pay one ditch one if you did burn one. Uh, so you can do that five times, up to five times every encore phase. Pretty good event. 
Why does it get to be cost? That's a, I don't know. Pretty sick payoff. Because <laughs> they need another line of text for the card to look good. I like it. Next card. Nico. All right, so this is a horse. Uh, choose one of your characters, send it to stock. <clears throat> if you did that, reveal the top card of your deck. If, okay, I think... If that card... Start. If that card... If that card is a character with one or more of the same traits as the character sent to stock by this effect, place that character on stage and... Okay, you're, you're changing... Okay, so you sack a character and you top check if it's if it has the same trait, you can put it on there. Very ha ha funny, really, like gambling card, dude. Dude, think about it. you could you could. Early okay, no, no, no. Think about it. Think about this. it. You mill you mill your deck down to nothing using the one zero draw your whole hand, ditch your whole hand, and then you're oh. you're playing you're playing four of the eins that shuffle stuff back, so you always have it off your draw, and then you shut you mill out your whole deck. So you shuffle back whatever card you want to spawn, and then you play this event that you draw the thing because you're playing events, right? That's why you're playing the card to draw your whole hand. You got to think about it. You got to think about the potential. <laughs> you really? <laughs> That's my rating right there, dude. Right there. You could combine it with um, the uh, shuffle back. That's what I, I just I said. Mean, small deck, like you said. Yeah. You can, but it's like... The amount of like deck control you need to be able to like consistently look, pull something look, like look, this look, off. Look. You want to play level I'm threes looking. at level two? There's a really cool thing in red. Called standby. <laughs> called the power button. <laughs> the of, standby trigger. Think about, think about it this way: instead of paying a stock and ditching a card to summon three two arms, you can gain a stock and ditch a card and summon three two arms. Well, you're also oh. ditching this event. To do that, so okay. Well, sh shut the fuck up. Okay, this this <laughs> event is just like it's whatever. Not very. Good. It's really funny. These these cards that can just randomly sack level threes or into the board under the board are really funny. But when they do it with standby, this is like a, it's this is not like funny. Waifu format type cards. Yeah. But how do you even play this in waifu format? Look, it's, it's it's ha ha funny <laughs> when the it's ha ha funny when the level three comes to board in any other way. But when standby no. puts it on the board, everybody rolls their eyes and no. cringes. Well, because it's not based when you do it off standby. It's based if you True. do it. Off it's not based. Nothing will ever be as based as the sea monster event from Fate Zero, though. The Yo. sea monster event is funny. Should All right. Our, our set review of that set. What was that on? Was that on? Uh, was that on Burn that One? That was on Burn One. Yeah, yeah the, the old like set ten reviews. Minutes, ten minutes talking about all the applications of the Sea Monster event. All right. Well, Red has some really cool cards, and we will see you in that color later.